my new weapon and the weapon I'm looking to get in the shop is the code diffusion constant I'm trying to get all the dual wield weapons so I have all of them and this let me play my primalist banner a little bit more again because I don't have any primalist weapons right now uh, my only other primalist weapon is the lost dreamer and that's at level 20. Um, I just had a video that I did of the level 20 build. So the level 20 build is triple primalist sniper. Um, and the reason I play triple primalist sniper is because the sniper um, ability in there is grounding bolt. And this was a uh, ability that I used on almost every build to the point where I stopped using it for a while because I was worried that if they nerfed it, it would become unplayable. But even with the nerfs that they added to the grounding bolt, the place, it still plays very well. They increased the charge time by, I believe, 2.2 seconds. They decreased the casting range by 3.4 meters. And they nerfed the damage a lot. And the duration was brought down a lot too. But it's a really powerful um it's a really powerful item. Because I have a game that I actually uploaded. It's in the highlights where it's the full level twenty build. And if you watch it for the first five to six minutes of that game, I'm only using the Lost Dreamer and the I'm only using the Lost Dreamer, the grounding bolt pretty much primarily through the whole thing and the other thing is i'm also using the trick kit called the nylon guard and this weapon i mean this <laughs> this weapon the you know, reason i call it a weapon is this trinket increased all my damage by 15 percent so i automatically am doing crazy amounts of damage and once i go over 10 meters um there's also damage amplification with the grounding bolt which is its banner i get um six percent more damage so in reality at over 10 meters i'm doing 21 percent damage and what makes this web uh that trinket so cool is it's doing damage to human and primal enemies so everybody takes that extra 15 16 damage so it's it i mean it's really cool it's a it's a good build but with just those three items i got a pentakill within the first two to three minutes of playing um when I finally started picking up my heavies, um, and the heavy that I have at level 20 is a primalist heavy, the arrival, this is its max damage, but with 15% and range, because it has a 10.6 meter range, you wind up doing a lot more damage with it also. I mean, the thing I, I said um, from the patch is they up all of the heavies damage at some point some of the heavies went too high like the objection the lumia arrival um even the arrival in some in some states in the heretic they're ridiculous in the amount of damage that they can do like they the the lumia product the lumia arrival i keep calling it a product because it's a lumia product also the lumia arrival at level one is only 54 is only 54 um, debt points less damage than my level 20 arrival. And then what happens is as this thing starts to level up, um, it also has an extra wide detonation radius, which is almost six meters versus the five meter one. It's just that it's so high and the AOE damage decay is so little that if you get hit by this thing, if you get hit by this thing at the edge of its AOE, you're going to basically get lose 75% of your health. Like if you're at 4K, 4.5K, 75% of your health just evaporates. So if that thing is level 10 or better, you're screwed. It's, it's the craziest thing I've ever seen. It's, it's so strong. Like, here's what I mean by demoralizingly strong. I wrote a, a feedback on it. I said it's demoralizingly strong because 
when you're actually playing this thing and let's say you're on a team where the game is unmatched where it's unmatched and the simple fact is the way the game basically works out is you are playing more than 2v1 or 1v2 or 3v1 or the game I wind up playing was it was a 8v3 or a 3v8 so what was happening for me is I'm fighting a guy with a Lumia Prodigal which is pretty high level and I'm fighting an extra what do you call it five players on the opposing team and I'm working with a weapon that if the person who was playing against me appeared, I was guaranteed to die. Because no matter how far I ran, his range was always enough to decimate my damage. Like it was it was ridiculous. And he also had grounding bolt. And he didn't have to use it most of the time. He would just drop the 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 Lumia prodigal in my general direction and my energy just disappeared. Or my health would disappear. And it's frust it was frustrating. It's like it's 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 so bad that you can't even fight against it you can't run you can't run towards the person you can't do anything its radius is so wide you're gonna die if you try to face this thing and you're also playing it was funny sometimes i was getting double teamed and that was one of the items double teaming me they were camping in front of a spawn point with it yeah, it's not a big deal, but I'm one of the three live players on the opposing team. My team is being crushed anyway, and they're camping in front of my spot wherever I would come back. Or if I teleport somewhere because the way the minimap work, if they had control of an area, they can see me, they would teleport to there and kill me anyway. Like, how much fun do you think that can actually be? And the problem about it, like I said, in the older version, a 3 to 5 is still really tough. But I've played 3 to 5s in the older versions where you could score a point or two, like if you were playing Capture the Flag. You could even make the game stretch out a little bit. And the only reason that was able to happen is because your primary weapon was so strong that you could actually affect the battle. And what I mean by strong is if I had no heavy, I wasn't automatically dead. That's the point. The Lumio Prodigal was always super strong anyway. They scaled it up again. They ramped it up so high that it doesn't even make sense. I don't know if it's ramping up in conjunction with the way it was in the other patch. They're just making them even, but it's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculously too powerful. The same issue is I love the objection, but this is a level 15 objection. And look at the damage that it does. And I always played the object objection minimum double sniper. So if I started playing and you notice I have a, a plus four damage amplification on it automatically. And I actually am playing it with, with epic mods and stuff like that. This weapon, it's one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. I, I remember the first day I was playing it against a buddy and then we're doing, I'm doing 4,800 damage on him off screen i was like what and this thing is only level 15. it's kind of crazy um all i'm just saying is the damage i agree you increase the damage but i think they should re nerf them by 25 percent across the board especially on the really really strong weapons like it was really weird they double nerfed the dispatch where they had already nerfed it and cut its range, cut its ammo, and then decided, you know what, we'll nerf its damage too. And it made no sense where the objection, nothing was not touched, the the arrival wasn't touched, the Lumia arrival wasn't touched, the heretic wasn't touched. And the thing that a lot of these guys don't understand is, oh, it's a burst weapon, it's a burst weapon, but you, you have, most of these guys who are playing it are playing it at level 20 or 15 or better like level 15 or better. And if a weapon is on the edge of its hit, on its AOE, is taking away 50% or 75% of the damage of a player, and I am not super low level, I'm like mid-level player because I, I decide to choose my 
to build totally weak stuff and I'm trying to build them up into higher level stuff. If as a mid-level build is being decimated by uh, level 15. By a level 15 build, it's, it's kind of annoying. So that's the one thing like uh it's and I don't think these guys are paying attention to it the way I'm paying attention to it. I played my level 20 build. It's oppressive. My level 20 build is disgusting. Without even having heavy ammo in my level 20 build, I can dominate the game. If there's only if there's no real vet players or anybody with anything strong, I will completely crush the people I'm playing against. Even if I lose, I'm still going to score over 3,000 points. So even in the loss, I'm going to get crazy amounts of XP. <laughs> so I don't... Like, when I was playing that game, I wasn't even trying to win. All I was just trying to do was get my score up. Because if the balance... I know if the balance shifts where I start getting a bunch of people put against me on a team, I'm not going to beat them. But boy, am I going to have a really crazy high score before the game ends. Like, like, that's literally it. And people playing against me, all they're going to do is keep dying and dying and dying and dying because my build is so strong, I will obliterate them. Like, I also played my level 20 Isia, both items, my Deep Feast at level 20 and my Shiver Shroud at level 20. And I have legendary mods on Shiver Shroud. Like, I don't know what you're supposed to do. Right? To me... That's what level 20 builds feel like against everybody else. And what I play is I purposely don't play that build. I haven't played that build really. That was the first time I really played it. Really played it. I played it from the beginning of a game to an end of a game in about two months now. I tested out every patch update. Like when, it, when six happened, I tested it. Um, uh, when seven happened, I tested it in the beginning. Like I don't really play it. There are times I'll start playing it and I just leave the games. I don't even play from beginning to end. This was the first time in months that I've literally sat down from beginning to end in a game and played the build all the way through. Like it's that it's super powerful. Like I don't play it because I know I always just test to see is it still viable at a level twenty build, and it's always more than viable. That's why when somebody says like, oh they nerf the the grounding bolt it, it, it's like this one guy uh who was using it he had just came in a little bit like maybe on 0 0.4 or 0 0.3 or something like that or he just got the grounding bolt and he was using it all the time he would throw it and miss but but when it hits he could kill things pretty comfortably and he's like oh the nerfs are too much i'm like nah the nerfs are actually just perfect because like i said the other version of it was so oppressive, it's freaking shot. Like, the grounding bolt has one of the highest hitboxes in the game. Like, I could hit miss you by almost a meter, like almost half a meter, and that thing will still catch you. Like, I don't literally have to make, I don't have to aim directly at you. I just have to throw it in your general direction. You're going to be hit by it. And then, it had a, a, a range that was greater than every weapon in the game at 16.8 it was longer than the sniper rifles it was longer than everything its cooldown was eight seconds but it has two charges so every four seconds you could use that item now it's every 5.1 seconds i keep saying like the nerf should have been somewhere between 12 to 7 seconds so it would be every seven set i mean it's 12 to 14 so every six seconds or every seven seconds you could use a grounding bolt but this is still okay and it's still stupidly strong and this guy was like nah I, I don't like the nerf I'm like are you kidding me I'm like it's still super strong <laughs> it's still strong as hell it's not invincible you actually now people can be at the edge of the screen and off screen and not be hit by your shot I used to shoot it blindly in the direction using the mini map and hit people off screen I used to have people at the edge of the screen running and I'm at the lower corner of the screen. I throw the thing, they'd be frozen, I'd run up and kill them. 
when they finally nerfed the distance, somebody was running, I threw it, and it didn't catch him. I was like, oh my God, I missed. It's shocking. That's how accurate and it used to hit with its range all the time. So like it's it's weird. I don't know. Like a lot of people are not testing this game to see is it viable if I go really weak and start playing and building something up with no level 20 items. I actually have ways to build that because there's a lot of stuff I did not push to level 20. There's stuff that's still in level 7, level 8, level 6 because they're not that useful but when I need to run a build and I want to test to see how it plays with something mid-level or somebody who's just starting out, I get to feel how hard or how easy the game is based on that really mid-level build or that really low-level build a, a build with most things under 10 if i'm playing and all that's happening is my character is just getting blown up blown up blown up blown up blown up uh something's wrong there <laughs> so it's like I said, I don't think a lot of people test like that. A lot of people test, Oh, is this weapon really strong? Yes, it is. It's the best. I love this weapon. And they move on. And then they'll play with level 20 items in their build and say, Oh, no, the game seems pretty fair. But if somebody's just starting out at level... at With gear level 5, level 7, gear level 8... No, it's not. <laughs> so that's the thing. It's It's a funny thing. It's... They... People don't think about it in that way. They just think about how much fun they're having based on how powerful their weapons are. And that's the only reason I keep saying primaries don't make sense to be super weak or you buff every aspect of the game. You even buff um, the super strong creeps that are like mid-level bosses in the game. You gave them all more health, but your primary weapons, none of them got more health. The idea is, the claim is you're gonna make fights last longer but once guns reach level 15, in most cases, they're supposed to be strong enough to decimate something. Like, most things won't survive. But here's the point. The way progression works right now in the beta, the progression is so slow. In the real game, if this is what progression is like, you ain't going to keep any players. You're not. Supposedly, progression will be better than this. That'd be nice to see. But in the real game... If progression was like this, no one would play. Just being honest. Unless they love the way the game plays, you wouldn't retain people. So there needs to be a balance with the way how powerful weapons are. There needs to be a balance with health versus um, with health versus primary weapon damage versus what do you call it? Um, heavy weapon damage. And they, they got to balance some of this stuff out. Like one of the things they have is they have a bunch of traits. And if you're wondering what a trait is, all of these catalyte mods are basically um, bonuses that can add to the weapon. Um, and every one of these traits, the way they basically work is they help you. Once you have that on that weapon, it affects your human character all the time. The primal... And if you wonder what the primal is, this has its own mods and traits. So when you're in primal mode, that you have those also. Um, so the key is, when you're basically starting out with these guns, you usually don't have any of these. When you get one, a good one, the gun seems, plays a lot better. Um, but the key is, I'll show you, this is something called recovery. Your health increased by so much your health doubled by your health doubled from the last patch the numbers on recovery and warforged and all of these things are all still in line with exactly the way they were last patch when you had half as much health and i'm going to tell you at half as much health with these numbers these seem useless so now if you have twice as much health with these numbers i guarantee you they're doing nothing like, these are a bunch of wasted traits. They do nothing to help you. They weren't useful when my my health was lower. They're even less useful now that my health is higher. 
Like, this has never saved me in a fight. Warforge, ever. The guns do way more damage, even if this was every 0.2 seconds or every 0.1 second. I'm not generating enough health to survive the output of damage from a primary weapon, even in this weakened state. They just don't do enough health recovery for it to matter. So 38 extra while I'm fighting ain't going to save me. If it was 100, maybe 90 or 120, maybe that would save me. And that's on the low end. On the high end, it's got to be like 200. Because then I can see it. And then I can, I'll can. i be taking some of the shots that are happening at me. People are shooting at me. I'm not dying from their shots. My health regeneration because of this mod that's epic is actually saving my life. That's the key here. It's so strong that it, I'm super tanky when you're fighting me with it. If not, it's waste. Like literally, this is a wasted slot. Like all of these health regeneration things do nothing. I have this one. Supposedly. Not you, it's in protection. Supposedly, when I'm out of combat, I don't know how long it takes to kick in. If I stop shooting or something stops shooting at me, I'm supposed to regain health, 200 health regen out of combat. So my health should pop right back up super fast. Again, I can't even see it. I don't even notice it because it just takes forever. Like it takes forever for that to kick in. So I don't know if it's two seconds, three seconds, four seconds when I stop shooting my gun. If it's a second and a half, if whatever, I can't tell because when I'm using it, supposedly it's fast. It probably is. I just can't notice it because I'm usually in danger. I'm trying not to die and I'm waiting. <laughs> so it's like I don't see it. Like the ones that make sense are improve constitution, improve agile. Um, those make sense. Um, recovery? Not really. So That's the one problem that you'll see. Legendary mods is always one good trait. Is usually always one good trait with one useless trait. It's never like... They're rare to get a legendary mod that you're like, Oh my God, this thing is perfect. Like, oh my God, I love it. Like, this one is a good one. It used to be a lot stronger. It used to be 125 and 150. Or maybe 120 and 150, respectively. They've nerfed, they've nerfed this. Or maybe, no, they halved them. So they used to be 150 and 100. Yeah, they halved them. This used to be stupidly powerful, but they nerfed it. Like now, with this build, the most important thing for me to run with it is either running gun or running gun is what i use with it and pretty much is what i use it for it's one of those things that i use because it's a vanguard and it gives me stuff but yeah now i'll play a few games and then i'll probably stream